Morning, folks. We are just getting ready to hit the road. We're walking around the truck right now, making sure everything is still in place. So, taking a quick peek at everything, make sure all of our straps are still good. They were last night, but it's just uh, good to take a quick walk around and uh, make sure everything's all set. We are on our way down to... Statesville, North Carolina. I'm not walking in that, so I will walk around this way. Um, we're going to be heading down to Statesville, North Carolina today to finish running this load down there. And then I don't know what our next load is going to be. I get down that direction. It may very well be uh, a short run out of Nissan. Or uh, they might be sending me down to Greer to get a BMW load on. I don't currently know. But either way, let's go ahead and get the truck started and get on the road and we will see what we got today. Alright, what's up guys? We made it down here to North Carolina safely. Um, all the trucks look good. Doesn't seem to have uh, had any issues on the way down here. So, that's a cool thing. We're going to get these things offloaded. And then I guess it looks like our week is done. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon. It's kind of going to be a short week for us. We're not going to be, uh, we're not going to be grabbing any more loads this week. We could be run. We could run over to West Point and grab a load, but we're not going to be doing that. It looks like next week we're going to be training uh, one of the guys that actually watches these videos. Um, he's got a trailer that he is kind of learning on. He's done two loads so far with it, and they asked me to come on, run over, and do a little uh, or help him out a little bit. So that that's what we're going to do. We're going to run over there next week. So. They don't have anything for us this week, so we're just going to go ahead and call it a week here. But let's uh, go ahead and start getting these things offloaded, and we got to take them over there to the Chrysler dealer across the street. And, uh, yeah, this is what we got. That Jeep, again, that made height nice and easy. This truck, obviously, is way down to height. This thing's at, like, 13.2. That thing's sitting right at 13.6. That's always going to be your most challenging one to get down to height. Um, I'm fairly certain you can do a 2500 over a 1500 right here. I have done a 2500 or a 3500 over a 3500. The only difference is with the, with the other 3500, you, you drop into the drop pockets. This one here, you got to drive all the way up as far as you can get it up here. So you leave turning room. But you actually drop this way down behind that truck. That's how you make height with that one. But these two back here are always going to be your most challenging ones. The mistake I used to make, I used to leave, I used to drop this down real, real low, which would bring those front tires way down over the hood and leave the back end up. I've actually noticed that if I go ahead and uh, leave this up higher, almost leave this top deck level, if you can't tell, it actually comes down to height much easier over the back back here. And then the, this isn't damage. This is just uh, rust that drips off. Wipe, if you have a good dealership that sees this, wipe the side of your nose. Wipe it. Comes right off. Um, but, yeah, I just drop it low over the tail. And like I said the other day, tons of room up here. No issues. So, I guess let's go ahead and uh, get these things off quick and get them across the street and we will go uh, start heading home. Maybe we can make it home this evening at a decent time, have some dinner with the family. So I'm going to set you on the tripod and tell me what you think.
All right, so got everything all unstrapped and pinned. We're going to back this one and spot number nine off. Uh, you're going to have to drop this thing in the four-wheel drive, otherwise you won't get it out of these truck pockets that are right in between the, uh, the axles here. They're pretty deep. So just go ahead, climb in, get everything started up, and we're going to go into four-wheel high. There we go. I don't like using four-wheel low all that often. You can if you want. Like my dad, I'm pretty sure he loads and unloads all his trucks in four-wheel low. But I just, I'm not a big fan of it. It takes a while to shift into. And if it gets stuck in four-wheel low, you got a slow drive across the street. So let's go ahead and run this across the street and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so when we get it back across the street here, we have to turn around and drop these drop pockets, uh, close everything back up so we can go ahead and get the rest of the cars out without having to drop into them. So that's just right here. Well, whoop, hitting buttons. We'll go ahead, get our straps out of the way. We'll have to climb in and grab those, but come on over to this side, get our strap out of the way, next one up and out of the way, everything is closed, or everything's out of the way, well go ahead, flip these back over. Uh, just so we don't forget it. And I don't know if you'd bottom out front bumper. I'm sure if the car is low enough, you'll bottom out a front bumper on those. But I don't want to take the chances. I just climb into here. And then I will... Sorry, that's loud. But I'll just go ahead and flip those back over. So now... All we got to do is back that one out, and for the most part, as long as you stay straight, it's nice and easy. You see, we got about second hole there, edge of the tire is what we're going to be running up, and it should be about the same on the driver's side. Might be the first hole. I usually hug tight on the driver's side, but if we come over here... Look at the same thing. Yeah, it's right on the first hole. So I'll just follow this first hole all the way out. And uh, we won't have any issues. And we'll take this back across the street in a second. All right. So now this one. Um, I do the same thing. Keep this one in, uh, in four-wheel drive. When you back it out, it should still be in four-wheel drive from when I pulled it in. But keep it in four-wheel drive because if the back tires spin, the vehicle can kick sideways on you. So we don't want that to happen. That's how you run the side of the truck into the side of the trailer. But we're in four-wheel drive. And we'll just back straight out. Hold your wheel or hold your hand. Right at the noon spot on the steering wheel and back straight out of the trailer. And I see our camera didn't follow the truck. So yeah, that didn't work out so well. I set the camera to follow the truck, but it didn't. So now we're going to drive across the street here. I'm not a huge fan of having to bring these vehicles across the street, but oh well. We'll take them over here, park it for them. But this is why I'm not a giant fan of having to go across the street. Because right now, we have to uh, dodge traffic. All right. So here goes dropping all the, the truck back down, getting everything all set up. We'll go ahead and truck shuts off after five minutes, so we'll go ahead Start the truck back up. Start. 
start dropping our decks so we can get everything down and continue. Uh, get everything down so we can offload here. And if the banging is loud, I'm sorry. I'll try to mute it a bit on uh, on my computer when I get to that point. Let's see, my camera just lost me. Yep, it just lost me. All right, there we go. Now it's following me again. Hopefully it can continue tracking me. Still learning this little program. I'm hoping, I'm just watching over there. See if the camera turns. No, it lost me on my trailer. Okay. So, I'm learning what this thing can and can't do. Give me a second. We'll be right back. Oh, no. Look. Never mind. I was wrong. I see the camera's turned my direction. All right. So now I'm going to lower the bottom deck flat. I don't know if you guys do that or not. I always lower my bottom deck. I'm going to lower the back deck so I can shotgun it out. The only reason I do that is it kind of pinches the uh, the ramps back there. Um, it pinches the ramps so that way they don't just kind of slide back in as you shotgun the deck out. So now I can... Uh, once I get that all the way out, I'll just raise the deck back up and I don't have to go over there and reset my pins or bleh. I don't have to go over there and reset my uh, ramps. So if you look right now, they're all still nice and straight. So I'll lower the back deck down. Remember what I said before, this, uh, this middle deck, we're going to have to uh, unpin the back of that deck here in just a second. When we do that, we're doing that so that way I can slide those ramps back in place so we can drive that top truck off the trailer without having issues. So, I'll drop this middle all the way down and then I'll do the uh, I'll unpin that back deck there. So now we just come over here, stand off to the side and just... One pin, then come over to the other side, and do the other pin. Doesn't take long. And now, when I get done unstrapping that truck, I will slide those ramps back in place. Lower that all the way down. Okay, so I will have to, I will unstrap everything except for the Jeep on the very top you see come this way. The Jeep up here on number one, simply because of the fact that I have to climb up there, so I'm not going to do that, but I will do deck number two, deck number four, and deck number six, get that all unstrapped, and uh, at the very end when I, when I move the trailer and make my ramp to get number one off, that's when I'll walk up and drop those straps off it, but I will... Right now, I'll go ahead and just loosen that all the way up. So, I'm going to do this a little backwards. I'm going to do this side of the trailer first, uh, from the front to the back. And normally, I wouldn't. I would start right there at that back tire and just work my way around. But as soon as I walk to the other side of the truck, you guys are going to lose me. So, I might as well just do it now. So, this truck here... We'll go ahead. I hope that's not too loud. All right. That's where that needs to go. So now, when I unstrap it, I don't have to move that truck at all. What? Well, come up here. Pop my strap. Reset my pin on that one. This one right here, I don't reset my pin because I hooked both... Uh, both the hooks into that top deck so it won't go nowhere. Loosen that one up. Reset my pin. Then I just stretch this back. Get it out of the way. 
back one back here. I will leave on the ground. I reset the pin. Um, I'll leave this one sitting on the ground just simply because when I offload this one, I will then have to flip that ramp up. So, I all right, it lost me again. So, I just undid this strap right here. Um, but this strap, if you watched the last video, like I said, a second ago, will be pinned above my head. To get this one out of the way, we end up hooking it into the shotgun deck right here. So make sure you drop that off, because otherwise when you go to slide it forward, you're gonna break the strap or put holes in your decking. Pop that one. Get that strap up and out of the way. This one right here. Make sure yep, you're still looking at me. This one is that strap that I told you in the last one. It hooks into this hole right here keeps this deck from sliding in. So now, get that one out of the way. Now I'm gonna take this deck, slide it back underneath this tire so I don't have, uh, so it doesn't fall in between the truck. This one, and now up and out of the way. And uh, I'll see you guys when I get back over to the front side. All right, so at this point now, we are almost ready to rock and roll. What we're gonna do next, that shotgun deck, we're gonna slide it all the way out and put it underneath these floppers right here, making a straight shot all the way across. Simple reason is now I don't have to do anything, but at the very, once I get this truck off, I'll unload this one, when I get this truck off, all I gotta do is pop the two drop pockets right here, flat again, and then I can drive across without any issues. So the simplest way at this point in time, like I said in the last video, again, guys, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. And in the card right up above is the last video on loading all this. Um, like I said in the last video, leave this truck in two wheel drive. Do not set the parking brake on this one. The drop pockets and the straps will hold it in place so it doesn't rock it all on you. And then you can just go ahead and shotgun this, that front deck all the way out like I am right now. And uh, it's not going to, if the parking brake's on, those front tires are going to be locked in place. So there you go. Now that truck is off that deck. And all I have to do is raise it up a little bit. It should be good. A little too far forward. Bring it back just a hair. And there we are. You can see now, look up this way. We're completely flat. This deck is now holding these floppers up. I got a little space under here, and I can drive this straight off. So that's what we're going to do at this point. This truck right here is probably in four-wheel drive, because that's usually how I drive them on. Because um, it's on this ramp, all I'm going to do at this point it started up and I will just put it in two wheel drive as I'm backing off the truck. It'll go ahead and pop right into two wheel drive. We won't have any issues. So parking brake off, two wheel drive, reverse. I'm gonna pop that mirror out because now I can use my mirrors again. And we're backing off the truck. And it is literally that simple. Take this one back across the street and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. So the next one you guys can see down in the drop pockets. So this one I'm gonna have to click into four wheel drive. It does take a couple seconds. Obviously it seems like these trucks don't have much torque like uh, the trucks I normally haul when I do haul them. So it's gonna take an extra second or two for this thing to go into two or four wheel drive low to get out of these drop pockets, but go ahead, start that process now, which is going to be shift into neutral, press the four wheel drive low button. They went into four, not went into four low. All right. So set my mirror and now we just back out, up and out. Now go slow because this front 
bounces kind of down into that drop pocket. You can do damage to your trailer, but also if, uh, if you don't do that, you can slam the front bumper on some of the lower sitting, like these 1500s, you can slam it down onto the ground and do damage to it. All right, I really don't think it just recorded me lifting those pockets back up. If not, it's in the other video. But go ahead, walk up here. This truck, same thing. It's in two-wheel drive right Or no, it should be in four-wheel drive right now because I didn't have to split deck it. So being that it's in four-wheel drive, that's how you want to back it off. So that way your tires don't spin. Because right now, if your back tires spin and this... Uh, truck kicks sideways you can uh, drop the truck off the side of the trailer and that's not going to make for a good day turn my parking brake off adjust my mirror and we are backing out of here maybe there we go man these things don't want to move So right now, go ahead and click the two-wheel drive button. Let it continue to go down in two-wheel drive as I back off. And now, we head across the street and deliver the next one. All right, so now I'm going to walk over here, grab my uh, gloves. And last step, it's going to be building our ramp up to that Jeep over here and uh, getting that one down. So normally if I'm not recording, this is the longest portion of the whole job. I gotta get this deck, this first deck in its right position, which is right there. And, and forward to back, I mean. And then uh, I got a little, on the other side, I got an uh, painted on arrow with little line so I know how far forward and back that, that deck goes. I'll go ahead and raise this deck up. It takes a few minutes. It's kind of slow. These two stage rams, which allow these decks to get so low, they, uh, they just take a little while to move. So go ahead and now raise the front of it up. And then next is going to be the back or the top deck here, which is going to be deck number two, is the way it's numbered when loading wise. Um, this is only number two if uh, if you're loading ten. Otherwise, normally there's nothing on that deck. That one's up. I'll go ahead and raise this deck up and start building my ramp. Now, this top deck. This one right here that I'm pointing at, that one uh, got blockers on it. I'm gonna have to flip across to get across to this back deck right here. Um, I'll do that when I climb up there. Next will be after after this deck is in place, I will turn around and raise the trailer deck up, and then walk up the trailer, make sure to get everything offloaded, or make sure to get everything in a straight line. So that looks about good to me so come over here we'll raise this deck up touch those floppers there we go we built our ramp normally you want to keep it as straight as possible but being that this is a jeep that i'm taking off here i'm not too concerned i got plenty of room for my height on this you looking for this one? <laughs> Got one right there for you. <laughs> All right. Love the sound of this Jeep.
All right, what's going on, guys? We are on our next load. You can see the cars back here behind me. Yes, truck's quite dirty. Um, I forgot to film an outro for this one. So, guys, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, hanging out with me today. I hope you learned something. Also, right here, if you want to be... Also, right here, if you want to become an owner-operator, click that link and uh, watch that video that is going to teach you the ins and outs and how to budget your money to be a successful owner-operator. Also, down below is going to be all the links um, that I normally have. If you want to become a driver here at United Road, go ahead and click that link. My name is Matt Weil, and use me as a referral if I'm the reason that you guys came over here. Also, you got the GetUpside app if you want to save money on your fuel purchases. You have the credit card that I always use, which is what how I take my family to Disney. Go ahead and use that one as well. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm going to head out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.